there is a, I, I really love the way hello is said in the East. Namaste. Namaste. There is a, a, a sense of seeing the dignity in each other beyond the, the personalities or the anxieties or the quirkiness, a deep dignity, just quite lovely. Here's something that Susan Morgan wrote about joy. Joy is a heart opening practice. It connects, it evens the playing field by saying, your happiness in this moment is deeply seen and appreciated. Joy, delight, appreciation, mutual dignity, mutual respect. The I seeing you, seeing me, seeing you comes through. You guys remember Mr. Rogers? Say hello. Welcome to the neighborhood. I often experienced him as a little too sweet. Possibly uh, that was my reaction to sweetness and kindness. I was a little suspicious of it. I didn't know if I could quite trust the sincerity of his message. And, and this is a, a bit of a sidebar, but it's been something that I've been thinking about, particularly since Lori and I did the day-long uh, retreat on joy, that it probably is very helpful for us to look at some of our family history around joy. Who, who was welcomed? Who was befriended? Who wasn't? And how does that impact our beliefs or our experience of joy today? So I just kind of raise that up for a, uh, an inquiry, but I, I wanna get back to Mr. Rogers because nevertheless, Mr. Rogers was a friend and a benefactor to millions of children. I believe he offered a sense of refuge, a place of welcome. Remember how he sang, there's nobody quite in the world like you? <laughs> he was so welcoming. It's, it's easy to find joy in this. And I'm sure he found joy. I'm no longer as skeptical. The joy of being welcomed just because you are who you are is a wonderful feeling. The experience of feeling welcomed is a wonderful feeling. And it can be a healing experience, actually. And how about being a welcoming presence? This can be a wonderful feeling too. Have you ever had that experience of not expecting to be welcomed and then you're invited in, greeted warmly, enthusiastically. People experience this when they walk in 12-step meetings, welcoming sangha, welcoming community, glad to see you. Throughout this year, we've all been practicing and embodying and living into the Brahma Viharas. We are 
learning to embody a welcoming presence within. We are learning to be a gracious host or perhaps a little less reactive host. It's why we come here. It's why we practice. Rumi writes, this being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness. Some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all. We are learning to turn toward our vulnerability with love and kindness. And this is a joy, the joy of Metta, the joy of Metta. Because when we can oh, breathe and make some space for our vulnerabilities, we become a welcoming refuge for ourselves and for others. Welcoming and befriending are deep practices. They're practices of acknowledgement, of acceptance and appreciation practices of turning toward rather than turning away, practices of connection. And as we deepen our practice, we become more intimate with awareness. Awareness with a capital A, we begin to have a little more faith that we have a solid refuge, home base to come back to. Meditation is a practice of befriending. It's a practice of welcoming. All of us, all humans are vulnerable. And we can often feel, even believe that in our vulnerability, we are defenseless. And sometimes, many times, we are. When we're babies, we are completely dependent on another human being for our welfare. And I think this leaves an imprint. When we can make some space and befriend, even maybe surrender to our own vulnerability, we become a welcoming refuge for ourselves and for others. Sharon Salzberg writes, are we ready for vulnerability? Do we feel willing to see our flaws come up as we become vulnerable around others and experience them do the same? Are we willing to be open to the idea that others can see our vulnerability? just as we see theirs? Asking these questions and being willing to answer them with the inevitable uncertainty is part of the process of befriending ourselves and others. Befriending is a practice of compassion a practice of turning toward. We often want to get rid of something unpleasant before we have a different relationship with it. And in doing so, we are contracted and tight. Just the opposite of turning toward, the opposite of welcoming, the opposite of letting be. We have a lifetime of turning away from the difficult whether it is the difficult reaction or the difficult feelings or the difficult parts of ourselves, or as Sony Rimshe refers to them as 
beautiful monsters. Monstrous because they cause us trouble. Beautiful because they offer us wisdom and joy if we learn to befriend them. Beautiful and that they are often expressions of compassion that have not yet found their voice. And we know that the parts of us that we have not yet learned to befriend or have not yet learned to welcome can haunt us, can pound on our doors and wake us up at night. The experience of befriending ourselves requires us to welcome the seemingly unwanted. Reiner Maria Rilke, perhaps all the dragons in our lives are princesses who are only waiting to see us act just once with beauty and courage. Perhaps everything that frightens us is in its deepest essence something helpless that wants our love. There are many, many people who are doing wonderful things in the world right now. Acts that cause joy. Please take a moment and think about someone, human or four-legged, or a place that delights you to think about. It may be a being that you have learned something about joy or welcoming with. Someone that delights you, some place that delights you to recall. And I'm going to ask if you are so willing or feel inclined to just put the name in the chat. This way we begin to infuse our Sangha with important connections that other people have in the Sangha. And just, just notice, just see, just taking time to appreciate. Names that are important. Beings that we are all deeply connected to. Beautiful, beautiful. And you can feel free to continue throughout this time together to add names of people or beings or places that are important to you. Let's just take a moment and hold these in our hearts. joy of connection. So thank you for listening. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for sharing someone, someplace that is important to each of you.